in this video, I'm gonna share with you 101 different marketing ideas. Yes, you heard that right. 101 proven, effective, and profitable marketing tips, tricks, and tactics. And all of them have the power to help you grow your business. That said, this video does come with a warning, and that is that you shouldn't try to do all 101 of these things, and most definitely not all at once. That would be exhausting. Instead, the best thing you can do here is watch through this video from start to finish. Watch out for the marketing ideas and strategies and tactics that seem to reach through the screen and grab you. The kind of thing that gives you that, oh yeah, I like that feeling, deep down inside. Then, start with those first. Now, the way this is going to work is first I'll give you the marketing strategy. Then, I'll tell you why it works and why it's important. Then, I'll top it off with a relevant quote to really help drive this home. So, let's dive in with marketing idea number one now, market research. Have you ever thought you knew exactly what your customers wanted only to be met with cricket sounds when the time came for them to actually pull out their wallets and buy something? Anything off the trolley, dears? Yeah, we've all been there. It's not fun. The solution to this problem is to dive into market research, which is going to allow you to figure out what your customers actually care about so you can stop guessing what they want and start knowing so you can give it to them. Market research is kind of like having a crystal ball, but less mystical and more practical, and a whole lot more profitable. Why it works? Because market research helps you truly get to know and understand your audience. Guessing games are for amateurs. Market research also allows you to stay ahead and predict trends before they're cool, which is a powerful skill to have and one that ensures that you're always on the leading edge. Research is to see what everybody else has seen and to think what nobody else has thought. Next up, referral programs. Want to grow a business without lifting a finger? Okay, maybe one finger. I mean, you gotta probably click a mouse or dial the phone or something like that. But you can get your customers to do much of the heavy lifting for you with referral programs. Why it works? Word of mouth, my friend. It's like high school gossip, but profitable. Referral programs are based on that all important trust factor because friends trust friends. A trusted referral influences people more than the best broadcast message. Next up, number three, expand product lines. Are you tired of selling the same old thing? Then spice things up and add some flair to your business by expanding your product lines. Whoa, easy on the flair there, my man. <laughs> Why it works? Because variety is the spice of life, and who doesn't like a little bit of spice? Plus, if you're stuck, expanding your offers allows you to meet a more diverse set of needs and gives both you and your customers a wider variety of options to choose from because not everybody likes vanilla all the time. If you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always gotten. Okay, number four, diversify. Have you ever heard the saying, don't put all your eggs in one basket? Yeah, it's cliche, but it's also true. And this point kind of builds on the last one about expanding product lines as diversifying your business's markets, offers, strategies, anything really, can often be the catalyst to breaking through to the next level. How it works, diversification gives you a safety net because life's unpredictable, business especially so. And diversification, like I mentioned before, can open up new opportunities and fresh markets equal fresh profits. Diversification is a protection against ignorance. Marketing idea number five, improve your online presence. Still rocking that website from 2005? And it's time for a glow up. Your online presence is like your brands and your business's digital storefront. So you gotta make it shine. Why it works, because first impressions matter. A lot. Some might even say that they're everything, so don't let yours be meh. Also, improving your online presence allows your brand to be, or at the very least appear, to be current and relevant and up to trend. The alternative is to risk being the business equivalent of a flip phone. On the internet, content is king. A quote from a man who probably knows a thing or two about this whole computer thing. Number six, SEO. Think of SEO like the cool kid in school. You wanna be seen hanging out with them. Why? Because everyone notices the cool kid. They get attention. And in business, attention is a form of currency. Maybe the most important one. Why it works? Visibility. Be the first name customers see, not the 10th. There's another benefit here as well though, which is the credibility that comes along with high search engine rankings. It's a statement that just screams, trust me. After all, Google obviously thinks high enough of me to put me right here at the top of their search engine. Google only loves you when everyone else loves you first. Number seven, content marketing. Think your products and services are gonna sell themselves? Think again. They need a little help from a friend every now and then. And content marketing is that special friend. The special friend who talks to you when you're at a party that you don't wanna be at all alone, standing in the corner, wishing you could just go home. Why it works? Engagement. Because customers love a good story, but we'll talk more about this later too. Content marketing builds authority, period. 
and allows you to show them that you're not just another pretty face. Though between you and me, you do have a pretty face. Content is fire, social media is gasoline. So I guess it's time to talk about the gasoline. Social media, number eight. If your business isn't on social media, does it even exist? It's the digital age's philosophical question. Why it works? Well, this one should be obvious, but social media is one of, if not the best way to stay connected. Your customers are there, so you need to be too. Also, thanks to social media's more informal nature, it allows you to broadcast your brand's personality and show off that business charisma. Social media is about sociology and psychology more than technology. That's a, that's a pretty deep quote. Next up, email marketing. Think email marketing is dead? Tell that to my overflowing inbox. You've got <laughs> mail. So slide right into those DMs. I mean, inboxes. Email has an ability many channels don't, creating valuable personal touches at scale. And who doesn't love a personal touch? Number 10, PPC advertising. Want to jump to the front of the line and be the star of the show? Then PPC is your ticket to the limelight. Yippee! Why it works? Instant gratification, of course, because waiting is for suckers. In all seriousness though, it's the targeted traffic element of PPC that really makes this such a viable and profitable strategy, allowing you to put your content directly in front of your most ideal prospects and customers at the exact moment that they're searching for a solution that your business provides. Doing business without advertising is like winking at a girl in the dark. You know what you're doing, but nobody else does. Numero 11, affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing can run both ways. First, by you adding another stream of income to your business by selling complimentary affiliate products or services alongside your own, or more profitably, by having affiliates go out there and sing your praises while you kick back and watch the profits roll in. Lazy? Huh, more like efficient. Why it works? Cost effective. Pay for performance, not promises. Plus, affiliate marketing allows you to massively extend your reach, putting your brand everywhere. Affiliate marketing has made businesses millions and ordinary people millionaires. 12. Collaborate. Do you remember when you used to have to work on group projects at school? Well, this is kind of like that, but without the slacker who did nothing. Why it works? Fresh perspectives. Two heads or more are better than one. Collabs also allow for shared resources, saying double the fun, half the cost. Alone, we can do so little. Together, we can do so much. Marketing idea number 13, customer feedback. Think you're the bee's gluteus maximus? Well, your customers might have other ideas. Not so fun fact, in a survey conducted by Bain and Company, they found that 80% of companies believed they delivered a superior experience to their customers, but when customers were asked, they found that only 8% of companies were really delivering the goods. So, it pays to listen to your customers. I mean, you might just learn something, something profitable. Why it works? Customer feedback is a reality check because sometimes we all need a mirror. Adopting an attitude of customer feedback also helps create an environment that's focused on continuous improvement, evolve or become extinct. Your most unhappy customers are your greatest source of learning. Another Bill Gates quote. I'm gonna check my list and see how many more times I put them in here. Number 14, loyalty programs. Want customers to stick around? Then bribe them. I'm kidding, of course. But the truth is, a little incentive offered through the lens of a loyalty program never hurt. Why it works? Retention, my friend. Because new things are fun, but long-term relationships? Pure gold. Loyalty is not won by being first, it is won by being best. Next, networking. Do you remember that awkward dinner party slash mixer that you attended? The one you didn't want to go to, didn't want to stay at, and tried to get out of there as soon as humanly possible? Well, that's networking. But hey, it's not what you know, it's who you know, right? So, why does it work? Three reasons, connections, relationships, and opportunities. Doors open up when you least expect them and sometimes from the least expected places. Plus, even though many networking opportunities are awkward and uncomfortable and nobody really wants to be there, they're also an incredible opportunity to meet some really cool people to connect with, possibly collaborate with in the future, or at the very least, learn from. Succeeding in business is all about making the right connections. Okay, next up is another great place to expose yourself to people. Oh, that, uh, that didn't sound right. Number 16, trade shows. Want to stretch your stuff on the business catwalk? Then trade shows are your runway. Why it works? Visibility. Be the star, not the extra. Trade shows are helpful as they provide direct feedback, instant reactions, for better or for worse. Trade shows are a legitimate way of increasing your brand awareness. 17. Franchising. Dream of world domination? 
Good place to start is with franchising. It's like cloning your business, minus the sci-fi drama. Why it works? Think rapid expansion and the ability to enter dozens, maybe even hundreds of new markets almost simultaneously. Because sometimes slow and steady is just overrated. Plus franchising, at least when done right, does allow for some element of shared risk, allowing someone else to help share the load, but also the profits. Franchising offers an opportunity to experience the entrepreneurial journey with the benefit of guidance. Next up, exporting. Think the world needs more of what you got? then go global. Because why limit yourself to just local fame and adoration? Why it works? New markets, fresh faces, fresh wallets. Exporting also provides a level of risk diversification, allowing you to expand into new markets that protect you against any local hiccups. The world is a book, and those who do not travel read only one page. Marketing idea number 19, hire talent. Are you under the misguided impression that you can do it all? If so, I've got some news for you. You can't, at least you probably shouldn't. Why it works? Because hiring gives you access to help and expertise. Because sometimes Google just doesn't cut it and it's nice to have someone else there to run things by. Plus, more hands means more work done and leverage is the name of the game if you wanna grow and grow quickly. The secret to my success is that we have gone to exceptional lengths to hire the best people in the world. Number 20, training. Got a team that's a bit rusty? Then shine them up with some training. It's like a spa day, but for the brain. Why it works is that it gives your organization a skill boost that allows everybody to operate at a whole new level. Plus, there's also an additional morale lift because who doesn't like feeling smarter? Who doesn't like working for a company or a boss that invests in them? An investment in knowledge pays the best interest. 21, improve customer service. Ever been ghosted by a business? Ouch, right? So don't be that guy or girl. Instead, step up your customer service game. Why it works? Loyalty. Treat them right and they'll stick around and they'll tell their friends too. One of the biggest assets you can build in business is your reputation. Word spreads, so make sure it's good. The goal as a company is to have customer service that is not just the best, but legendary. Number 22, upsell and cross-sell. Wanna squeeze a bit more juice out of that sale? It's not being greedy, it's being smart. So upsell, downsell, cross-sell, it works well, oh yeah. That rhymed. Why it works is that it maximizes customer value. For starters, you're not leaving money on the table. And second of all, you're making sure that you're not leaving your customers hungry for more by not addressing all of their concerns and problems. There's also the enhanced experience element for the customer by offering them things they didn't even know they needed. Make your product easier to buy than your competition, or you will find your customers buying from them, not you. 23, bundle products. Have you ever bought a Happy Meal just for the toy? No, me neither. Well, that's the power of bundling, so give them a package that they just can't resist. Why it works? Value perception. More bang for their buck. People don't buy products, they buy the results the product will give them. Next, discounts and promotions. All right, discounts are not my favorite strategy, but promotions are fine. So if you wanna lure in those deal hunters, then don't be afraid to flash a shiny discount or provide an additional bonus or incentive. Just don't get too carried away. You're running a business here after all, not a charity. Why it works? Quick sales, perfect for the end of season rush. It can also allow you to tap into a market of new customers as everyone loves a good deal. Price is what you pay, value is what you get. 25, rebranding. Is your business feeling a bit Dated? If so, then it may be time for a makeover. Rebranding isn't just for midlife crisis. Why it works? Rebranding ensures your business stays relevant because the 90s called and they want their logo back. A rebrand also gives you an opportunity to market your new appearance with a fresh look and fresh interest. A brand is a voice and a product is a souvenir. Next, number 26, sponsorships. Want to be the cool kid by association? Then slap your name on something awesome. Sponsorships are the business world's way of being in the in crowd. Why it works is all about visibility, being seen in the right places with the right people. But even more important and valuable is the credibility that comes along with these associations. Hang with the best, be perceived as being the best. Doing well is the result of doing good. That's what capitalism is all about. 27, PR or public relations. If you wanna be the talk of the town, but without the scandal, then PR's got your back. It's like having a personal hype person. Why it works, image crafting. Control the narrative, be the hero not the villain. See you, chump. 
The fact is, customers are forming an opinion of you whether you like it or not, so you might as well take control and guide that in the right direction. Plus, having a boatload of positive PR can help if ever crisis management becomes an issue in the future. Because sometimes, stuff hits the fan. Public relations specialists make flower arrangements of the facts, placing them so the wilted and less attractive petals are hidden by sturdy blooms. 28, and a personal favorite of mine, webinars. Want to show off your smarts without the stage fright? Host a webinar. All of the glory, none of the awkward face-to-face -face interactions. Plus, webinars are infinitely scalable, allowing you to get your message in front of a global audience with just the click of a button. Why it works? Authority building. You can become perceived as the guru or expert or leader that everyone turns to. Show people that you can help them by actually helping them by creating good quality content. Plus, lead generation. Hook them with knowledge, build trust, create customers. In the digital age, knowledge is one of the few things that increases the more you share it. Okay, another one I'm a huge fan of, number 29, podcasts. Think you've got a voice for radio or maybe just some killer insight? I just had an idea. Start a podcast. It's like having your own show, minus the paparazzi. Why it works, reach a new audience build a deeper connection, and attract a more affluent market as well, as podcasts tend to be listened to by more higher net worth individuals. Podcasts also allow you to engage on a personal level. After all, nothing's more intimate than whispering in someone's ear. What's my that's a, that's creepy, don't do that. Podcasting is the new blogging. 30, influencer marketing. Much like with sponsorships, influencer marketing allows you to build and attract an audience by association, teaming up with someone who already is where you want to be. Why it works is that influencer marketing allows you to tap into an already existing and established audience. After all, why build from scratch if you don't have to? Plus, the right influencer can help you boost credibility. I mean, if they love it, their audience probably will too. Influencer marketing is the modern word of mouth. Next marketing idea, local SEO. I've built many a business off the back of local SEO, which allows you to quickly become the big fish in a small pond. The key here is to start by dominating your local turf before you move on to conquering the world. Why it works? Targeted traffic. Attract neighbors, not strangers. And I'd also be lying if I didn't say that ranking in that number one top spot and beating out the other local competition in the area didn't also feel just a little bit good. What can I say? Kinda competitive. The best place to hide a dead body is on the second page of Google search. A terrifying, morbid, and incredibly accurate statement. 32, mobile optimization. Still thinking desktop first? Welcome to the 21st century. Mobile's where it's at, don't get left behind. Why it works? User experience, because pinching and zooming, super annoying. So make sure your website looks good and is optimized for mobile first. There's also the ranking boost that comes along with this strategy as Google loves mobile. So give the 800 pound search engine gorilla what it wants. Mobile is not the future, it is the now. Meet your customers in the environment of their choice, not where it's convenient for you. 33, e-commerce. Still relying solely on brick and mortar? Then you're missing out big time. So dive into e-commerce, open 24 seven and no shoplifting. Why it works? Global reach, sell to the world, not just your street. Plus the convenience factor, which customers love. Shop in pajamas? Yes, please. If you build a great experience, customers tell each other about that. Word of mouth is very powerful. 34, subscription model. Want predictable income without the song and dance every month? Try the subscription model. It's like having a fan club that pays regularly. Why it works? Steady cash flow because surprises are for birthdays, not business. Plus, subscription models lead to greater customer retention, so you can keep them coming back for more. Subscription pricing is the future of commerce. Next up, number 35, crowdfunding. Short on cash, but big on dreams? Then get the crowd to fund your next big thing. It's like passing the hat, but digitally. Why it works? Crowdfunding allows you to test the waters and really battle test your marketing and your product and your offer to figure out if it actually is hot or not. Plus, crowdfunding builds community. They're not just funders, they're fans. Crowdfunding is the ultimate form of customer research. Number 36, mergers and acquisitions. This one's a little more sophisticated. But if you want to grow fast without the growing pains, then one option you have available is to simply buy someone else's business. Mergers and acquisitions are kind of like the business world's add to cart button. Why it works? Instant expansion. Because why wait? Plus diversification and more toys equals more fun. The best acquisitions are when the sum of the whole is more than the parts. Next idea, licensing. Got a killer product, but limited resources? License it out. 
Let others do the heavy lifting while you cash the checks. Why it works? Expanded reach. Be everywhere without being everywhere. Plus, risk reduction. Licensing is a significant part of the business. You're selling people your ideas. Next, 38. Expand geographically. Already conquered your local scene? Then the time has come to plant your flag elsewhere and expand geographically. Because world domination starts with just one extra pin on the map. Why it works? New markets, new people to serve, new profits to be made. And again, risk spread by diversifying your business across other areas and markets. To understand the world, you must first understand a place like Mississippi. I actually have no idea what that quote even really means, but it was the most fitting one I could find. Okay, 39, automate processes. Still doing everything manually? Yikes, please allow me to welcome you to the future. We've been waiting. It's time to automate, my friend, because you've got better things to do. Why it works, efficiency. Do more with less. Plus, error reduction. Because we humans, uh, we mess things up sometimes. <laughs> the first rule of any technology used in a business is that automation applied to an efficient operation will magnify the efficiency. Yep, there goes another bill quote. Okay, number 40, customer testimonials. Why toot your own horn when others can do it for you? Yeah, that, uh, that sounded kind of weird. Either way, don't be afraid to show off those customer testimonials. It's not bragging if it's true. Why it works? Social proof. It shows that everyone's doing it, so your customers should probably do it too. And trust building, because for some strange reason, we as humans tend to trust other strangers. Weird, right? All right, I love this next quote. Nothing draws a crowd quite like a crowd. Next, employee incentives. If you think that your employees are going to give 110% just for the love of the job, then you'll be pleasantly surprised to know that you can sweeten the deal by providing just a few extra incentives. And I'm not just talking about money, because autonomy, a sense of doing meaningful work, and even just a basic sense of appreciation, treating someone like the true, genuinely valuable human they are, usually go a whole lot further than a few extra dollars thrown at them. Why it works? Acknowledging and incentivizing through proper channels boosts morale. And happy employees equal productive employees. It also reduces turnover, which is great because training new employees is exhausting. To win in the marketplace, you must first win in the workplace. 42, corporate social responsibility, which is a total mouthful, so let's just call it CSR. Wanna look good and feel good all at the same time? Looking good, Billy Ray! Feeling good, Lewis! Then it's time to dive into the world of CSR, where you get to look good and feel even better. Why it works? Brand image. Look good by doing good. And employee engagement, because people love working for the good guys. Goodness is the only investment that never fails. Carrying on with this trend, here's idea number 43, green initiatives. Still not on the eco-friendly bandwagon? I'm not judging you, but Mother Earth is. So go green or go home. Why it works? Future-proofing, because there's no business on a dead planet. More importantly though, at least from a short-term economic perspective, is the customer appeal of an eco-friendly business. Green is the new black. We won't have a society if we destroy the environment. 44, quality control. Think skimping on quality won't come back to bite you? Please, power it down and return it. Think again. Quality control isn't just for control freaks. Why it works? Reputation. One bad review can undo a hundred good ones. And despite marketing being the single most important element to business success, it's only going to help you make that first sale. But the second and third are often a direct result of the quality of whatever it is that you're selling in the first place. Quality control also boosts customer loyalty. Customers may come thanks to your marketing, but they'll stay for the quality. Quality is not an act, it's a habit. I'm pretty sure that's not the exact quote, but we're gonna go with it too. 45, radio and TV advertising. Think radio and TV are dead? Tell that to my grandma. And the millions of other people who still engage with this form of media every single day. Old school? Maybe. Effective? It can be if you determine that your ideal target market is present and active on these channels. Why it works? Broad reach. Get in front of earballs, earballs, <laughs> eyeballs, and eardrums. And brand awareness. Especially if you do it right, your business could be the next catchy jingle that everybody just can't get out of their head. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Doing business without advertising is like winking at a girl in the... Yeah, I think I've used this quote already. All right, moving on. 46, refine your pricing strategy. Still pricing with the eeny, meeny, miny, mo method? Then it's time for a more thoughtful strategy, my friend. Why it works? Maximize profit. Because undercharging, losing money, it's just sad. 
And the right price gives your business a competitive edge, allowing you to maximize profits while at the same time providing just an incredible amount of value. The key with pricing strategy though is to understand that price is what you charge and value is what the customer gets. So you need to make sure that the perceived level of value that someone is getting is significantly higher than the price you're charging. Pricing is actually pretty simple. Customers will not pay literally a penny more than the true value of the product. 47, host events. Want to mingle without the awkward small talk? Host an event. Be the life of your home party. Why it works? Engagement. Nothing beats face to face. Seriously, nothing. There's also the brand exposure and authority that comes along with rolling out the red carpet for your brand. People do not buy goods and services. They buy relations, stories, and magic. Number 48, attend workshops. Don't feel like hosting an event? That's cool then just attend one. It's like school, but without the homework and awkward yearbook photos. Why it works? Skill upgrade. Add some new tools to that toolbox. And networking opportunities by rubbing elbows with the who's who. The capacity to learn is a gift. The ability to learn is a skill. The willingness to learn is a choice. 49, hire a consultant. Stuck in a rut? Bring in a fresh pair of eyes. The right consultant is like a business therapist. Why it works? Expertise. They've seen it, done it, got the t-shirt. Consultants provide an objective view and can see things that you simply can't when you're stuck in the day-to-day -day running of your business. No baggage, no bias. If you think it's expensive to hire a professional, wait until you hire an amateur. Marketing idea number 50, optimize the supply chain. Still managing your supply chain with sticky notes? No. Time to level up and optimize, or get left behind. Why it works? Cost efficiency. Save the pennies and the pounds will take care of themselves. Plus, faster delivery, which allows for more sales and more profits. The supply chain stuff is really tricky. I just realized that quote is not inspiring at all, as it makes the supply chain sound really difficult. I mean, if Elon Musk is having supply chain issues, then what hope do we have? But still important, so I'm sticking with it. So, building on our supply chain theme, let's continue with 51, inventory management. Ever run out of stock at the absolute worst moment? That's an inventory oopsie, and a good sign that it's time to start managing it like a pro. Why it works? Inventory management allows you to meet demand, and always be ready for the rush so that you're able to capitalize on it. You can't sell what you don't have. Okay, next is a super important one. Customer segmentation. Are you still treating all of your customers the same? Sounds fair. It's not effective. A better plan is to dive into segmentation, which allows you to deliver a more tailor-made experience unique to each customer segment. Why it works? Personalized marketing. Speak their language, address their needs, make them feel seen and heard and understood. Do this and you'll get a much better ROI as targeted efforts always equal bigger payoffs. When you speak to everyone, you speak to no one. And this leads me perfectly to point 53, personalization. Still sending out generic emails? If so, then it's time for some personalization and to make your customers feel like the true VIPs that they are. Why it works? Enhanced experience. Make them feel special. Man, they're pretty special. After all, your entire business relies on them. Personalization also leads to increased engagement and personal touches lead to personal connections. Personalization. It's not about first, last name. It's about relevant content. 54, leverage analytics. Are you making important business decisions based on gut feelings? How adventurous and terrifying, and a pretty clear sign that it's time to dive into your metrics and analytics. Much like with market research, looking at your analytics is kind of like having a crystal ball, but with graphs. So like a crystal graph, I guess. Why it works, informed decisions, facts over feelings. Spot trends and be ahead of the curve not behind it. Without big data analytics, companies are blind and deaf, wandering out onto the web like deer on a freeway. 55, exit surveys. There's going to come a point when at least one of your customers is going to leave. I know it's sad, but before they ghost, get some intel. Exit surveys are like the business world, it's not you, it's me conversation. Why it works? Exit surveys are a feedback goldmine. You can learn from the breakup so you can see what went wrong and fix it in the future. This will allow you to improve retention, so maybe the next one will stay longer. Feedback is the breakfast of champions. 56, do a little dabbling in AR and VR. Still stuck in 2D? Time to jump into the future with AR and VR, augmented reality and virtual reality. Why it works? It's fancy stuff, but AR and VR deliver an enhanced user experience and can help make shopping more of an adventure. Also, the technology isn't totally foolproof yet, but it does allow you to stay ahead because being a dinosaur is only cool in museums. 
<laughs> Another suck quote coming at you now. Virtual reality was once the dream of science fiction, but the internet was also once a dream, and so were computers and smartphones. Okay, marketing idea number 57, flexible payment options. Still accepting only cash? How retro? Not set up with a merchant account that allows you to accept crypto or international currencies or even obscure credit cards? If so, then the time has come to start offering flexible payment options because the money should flow, not trickle. Why it works? Increase sales. Make it easy to say yes. Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> and customer convenience, of course, because as the old saying goes, happy customer, happy life. I think that's how it goes. The easier you make it for your customer to pay, the more likely they are to buy. 58, seasonal promotions. Think every day's the same? Not in the world of business. So jump on the seasonal bandwagon, because who doesn't love a good holiday every now and then? Why it works? Boost sales. Make hay while the sun shines. And stay relevant. Be the talk of the season and join the collective narrative, which shows that you're tuned in to what's actually going on in the world around you. Don't be afraid to get creative and experiment with your marketing. 59. Offer guarantees. Want to win trust without the trust falls? The key is to offer guarantees. It's like a safety net for your customers. Why it works? Guarantees reduce purchase anxiety and make buying from you a no-brainer. The right guarantee also builds credibility by showing them you stand by your stuff. A guarantee is only as good as the person who gives it. 60. Collaborate with non-competitors. All right, this is kind of another way of looking at number 12, collaborate, which we already talked about. And I've got a couple other very interesting variations on this as well coming up, but for now, let's play this one out. If you want to expand without stepping on any toes, then a good plan is to collaborate with non-competitors. It's kind of like having a business buddy. Why it works? Shared audience. Double the exposure, half the effort. And fresh perspectives, because again, two heads are better than one. Coming together is a beginning. Staying together is progress. And working together is success. 61. Chatbots. Tired of answering the same questions over and over and over again? Then get a chatbot. It's like having a digital clone, minus the existential crisis. Who are you? I'm you. Why it works? 24-7 customer service, because you need sleep. There's also an incredible efficiency boost that comes from having your bot handle the basics. You can't have AI without IA, information architecture. Marketing idea 62, user-generated content. Want authentic marketing without the hefty price tag? Then let users do the talking for you. It's like having brand ambassadors, but for free. Why it works? Authenticity. Real reviews from real people. And the benefit is a massive engagement boost. It's also an easy sell to get customers to create content for you as everyone loves their 15 minutes of fame. Let your users do the marketing for you. Lazy? Ha, huh, I think not. How about efficient? Okay, 63, retargeting campaigns. There's something in marketing called the rule of seven that states that you need to make contact with customers around seven times or so before they purchase something. So if your customers are playing hard to get, then try wooing them back with retargeting because everyone deserves a second chance. Why it works? Retargeting allows you to recover lost sales by showing up again with the same or even a different offer. It also taps into an incredibly powerful psychological phenomenon known as the mere exposure effect that says that the more often we see something, the more that we like it. So stay top of mind and be the brand they just can't forget. The best ads don't feel like ads. 64, guest posting. Another way to tap into a brand new audience is by guest posting, creating content for someone else's platform or publication. The benefit to them is they get free content, and the benefit to you is you get access to an entirely new audience. Why it works? Guest posting allows you to share just an incredible amount of information, and like I've mentioned before, tap into a brand new audience and show them that you actually know what you're talking about and are probably worth following. Now, it does take work to create this content, of course, but if you're able to team up with a reputable publication or someone with a large enough audience, the effort is well worth the reward that you're going to get. A guest post is just the beginning of a mutually beneficial relationship. 65. Free trials. Want to attract more customers without scaring them away by asking them to commit for life? Then offer a free trial. Kind of like dating before marriage. Why it works? Free trials remove barriers by allowing customers to test the waters first before they buy. Free trials also build trust by showing customers that you are the real deal. Try before you buy. 66. Another personal favorite of mine, use video marketing. Text still works. Audio works. Images and infographics work but nothing even comes close to the power and effectiveness of video marketing that allows you to show and not just tell. Why it works? Engagement boost. Moving pictures over static ones. Plus, the algorithms want you to make more video. Your customers want you to make more video. 
Because I care about you, I personally would like to see you make more video. So the verdict is in. You should probably start making more video content. Plus, video is incredibly versatile, both in regards to the kind of videos you can create, including demos, testimonials, behind the scenes, educational content, and so on, but also the fact that video allows you to use the audio for a podcast, then transcribe the text and use that for a blog or email and social media posts. Not to mention splicing and dicing up the original video into short form content, which you can post anywhere and everywhere quickly and easily. Video marketing is the most effective way for you to get someone's attention and engage them for a substantial period of time. Okay, 67, offer financing options. Got pricey products or services? Break it down with financing and let customers pay while they play. Why it works? Almost every single time, offering financing leads to an increase in sales and makes big purchases less of a problem. The way to become rich is to put all your eggs in one basket and then watch that basket. And in order to make that quote make any sense at all in regards to what I just talked about, let's add to it that sometimes you wanna let customers buy that basket in installments, one egg at a time. Okay, 68, use gamification. Want to make business a bit more fun? Then add some gamification by providing rewards and incentives and tracking to help keep customers engaged. Why it works? Engagement. It's all about those micro wins that keep customers coming back for more. This in turn leads to more loyalty as everyone loves a good reward and will often do crazy things just to reach the next arbitrary level of some kind of challenge. Life is more fun if you play games. Number 69, use user surveys. Use user surveys. Use user surveys. That's a bit of a tongue twister. This is kind of a hybrid between market research and an exit survey as it falls directly between the two of them on the spectrum of time. But if you wanna know what your customers really think, then the best way is to just ask them directly. And in this case, you can use a survey. Why it works? Customer feedback, so you can understand what's working and what's not. This in turn helps with product, service, or offer development by allowing you to shape your offerings based on real feedback. The purpose of a business is to create a customer who creates customers. Okay, we talked about hosting events, but this next one is a slight variation and a little more interactive, which is to offer a workshop. If you've got knowledge about whatever it is that you do, and I know you do, otherwise you wouldn't be offering it in the first place, then you can share that knowledge by offering workshops. Offering workshops is kind of like being the teacher without the grading. Why it works? Workshops not only help people, but also help position you as the expert. And they can generate leads, and not just any kind of lead, the best kind of lead. The kind of leads that are active, engaged, and interested in learning more. Sharing knowledge occurs when people are genuinely interested in helping one another develop new capabilities for action. 71, use pop-ups, but not the kind you're thinking of. Pop-ups in marketing are typically associated with those annoying pop-ups we see on websites that pop up, get in your face, interrupt what you're doing, and ask you for your name and contact information. Side note, those are actually pretty effective, but that's not what this is about. Instead, what I'm proposing here is an actual physical location pop-up, which is obviously better suited for retail, but it's still an interesting and rarely used option. It's kind of like retail's version of a flash mob. Why it works? Popping up somewhere for a short time allows you to test new markets and dip your toes in before fully committing. It generates buzz and allows you to capitalize on being the talk of the town. Even if you are on the right track, you'll get run over if you just sit there. 72, exclusive member only events. Now this is similar to hosting events or workshops or webinars, but the catch is, is that you're going to offer this exclusively for your paying customers or current members. Why it works? Value addition. Make your loyal customers feel special by actually treating them special. The networking side of things also adds even more value to your business by allowing your existing clients and customers to engage and mingle and network amongst themselves. You're kind of like a bringer together of people. Success isn't about how much money you make. It's about the difference you make in people's lives. Okay, number 73, use QR codes. Want to bridge the physical and digital? Then use QR codes. It's kind of like a portal to another dimension. Kind of. Why it works? Easy access, point, scan, done. It works for retail, it works for services, it even works for content as more and more people are consuming streaming and social media based content through their TVs. The benefits of a QR code is its versatility as you can link up anything, menus, websites, promotions, you name it. The future is here, it's just not evenly distributed. 74, another collaboration idea, but this is one I can almost guarantee you've never heard of before, which is to collaborate with universities. Want fresh ideas without the price tag? Then collaborate with universities and get involved with some kind of course or training or anything that allows you to engage and participate with students. It's like tapping into a gold mine of eager beavers. Why it works? 
innovation, fresh minds, fresh ideas. There's also the added benefit of potential recruitment, allowing you to spot the stars before they shine. Education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. 75, offer bundled services. We talked about bundling products in number 23. At least I think it was 23. There's a, there's a lot of numbers here. So this time we're talking services because if you're selling just one service at a time, you have an opportunity to bundle things up so your customers will get more bang for their buck and you'll get more bucks for your bang. I'm not sure that works either. Why it works? Bundling increases average sales and order value, which is one of the best ways to increase your profits. There's also the customer satisfaction aspect as everyone loves a good deal. The bundle is more valuable than the sum of its individual items. 76, mobile apps. Still relying only on your website? How 2010, dive into the world of mobile apps. It's like putting your storefront directly in your customer's pocket. Why it works? On the go access. Tap, swipe, buy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Mobile apps also offer an enhanced user experience and can be customized and streamlined specifically for your unique business. Mobile is becoming not only the new digital hub, but also the bridge to the physical world. Number 77, employee advocacy programs. Turn your employees into brand ambassadors. They're your secret marketing weapon, especially if you've done a good job of building a culture around your brand. Why it works? Authentic promotion, genuine endorsements from those who know your business best. Sales is largely a matter of belief in what you're selling, and if your employees are passionate about what they're selling and what your business is all about, it can have a massively positive impact on your bottom line. Empowering your employees also leads to an extended network by reaching the networks of all of your employees. People trust any type of employee more than the CEO. Okay, 78, here's one for you. Implement progressive web apps, also known as PWAs. PWAs bridge the gap between traditional websites and mobile apps. They offer the best of both worlds by providing app-like experiences directly on web browsers, eliminating the need for users to visit app stores for downloads. If you're not familiar, then Google Maps is a good example of a PWA. Why it works? Well, there's a lot of benefits to PWAs, including the user experience, as PWAs are designed to be faster and more responsive than traditional websites, and can mimic the fluid animations and gestures the users expect from native apps. They also sometimes have offline access. There's no app store hassles, and when done right, developing a PWA can be more cost effective than building a separate native app, especially for each different platform, as one PWA can work across all devices and operating systems. The future of mobile is the future of online. It's how people access online content now. Okay, next marketing idea. Number 79, voice search optimization, or VSO, as basically nobody is really calling it. With the proliferation of smart speakers like Amazon's Echo and Google Home and Apple's Air Home, HomePod, Air Home Pod, Pod Air, HomePod, Air Home, Home AirPod, AirPod for Home. Ah, HomePod. And Apple's HomePod, voice search is no longer a novelty, but is actually a staple in many households. As more and more people become accustomed to asking their devices their questions rather than typing it into a search engine, there's a huge opportunity here for your business to adapt and start creating content that's voice search optimized. Why it works? This one is all about convenience, because whether driving or cooking or just being too lazy to type, users find it easier to just talk out loud to the cloud. Rather than pulling out a device and having to type it in and then having to deal with the annoying autocorrect errors that keep messing up your flow. The voice first world represents the next major disruption in computing. And on the topic of conversation-based marketing, the next idea is to use chat platforms. Still relying only on emails? How? Formal. And a sign that it might be time to jump into some of the chat platforms that are now available. Think real time, real engagement. Why it works? Instant communication. No more waiting by your inbox. Chat platforms can be installed on your website or synced up with your social media channels. This in turn offers an easy way to build relationships by offering customers a way to have short, quick, and relatively casual conversations with you or your business. The way we communicate with others and with ourselves ultimately determines the quality of our lives. 81, offer after sales service. Made the sale and then just moved on? Big mistake and an opportunity to dive into after-sales service because the sale is just the beginning. Why it works? After-sales service builds loyalty and shows them that you care. It also offers a powerful feedback loop that allows you to learn, improve, and repeat. After-sales service is more important than assistance before sales. It is through such service that one gets permanent customers. 82, use predictive analysis. 
If you're making future decisions based on yesterday's news, then it's time to get futuristic with a little predictive analysis. I don't wanna reference the old crystal ball again here, but I'm not really familiar with too many other future predicting tools, so we're gonna stick with this metaphor for now. Why it works? It enables you to stay ahead and anticipate trends and demands. Not to mention a whole boatload of risk management, as forewarned is forearmed. Without big data, you are blind and deaf in the middle of a freeway. Okay, next marketing idea is to embrace AI and machine learning. Still doing everything the old fashioned way? Then it's time to embrace AI and machine learning, as it's kind of like having a genius robot sidekick. Why it works? Efficiency. Let AI do the heavy lifting for you. This is especially useful for slow, boring, manual, repetitive tasks, where the odds are pretty good that someone somewhere out there has created some kind of AI powered chat GPT plugin software thingy that's going to allow you to accomplish your result with far less effort, far less time, far less energy. Artificial intelligence, deep learning, machine learning, whatever you're doing, if you don't understand it, learn it. Because otherwise you're gonna be a dinosaur within three years. 84, free shipping. Thanks to services like Amazon Prime, customers are now used to, and often expect, free shipping. So if you're still charging an arm and a leg for shipping, then that's a cart abandonment recipe for disaster. Here's why free shipping works. Because it boosts conversions. So offer free shipping, remove that last minute hurdle and watch those sales soar. I'd love to be able to say that free shipping gives you a competitive advantage, but the reality is that these days it's just kind of expected. If you build a great experience, customers tell each other about that. Word of mouth is very powerful. My God, I think I said some variation of that before. Okay, next up, number 85. Use interactive content. Static content is fine, but if you wanna spice things up a bit, then it's time to add a little interactive content to the mix. Engage, don't just inform. Why it works? Interactive content, the kind of content that someone needs to interact or engage with, provides a significant engagement boost and gets customers clicking or swiping. If you track it right, it also leads to better data collection, as you can see directly in front of you what makes customers tick, click, and stick. Content is king, but engagement is queen, and the lady rules the house. As for what kind of interactive content is best, well, that's what number 86 is all about, interactive video. You probably already know the videos are great, but interactive video? We're talking next level stuff here. Kind of like a choose your own adventure book, interactive video allows customers to guide their own flow through your video by clicking elements on the screen, answering questions, and even buying products, all right there inside the video itself, which leads to a fully immersive experience. Why it works? We're talking massive engagement boost here. And active participation beats passive viewing any day of the week. The future of video is interactive video. 87, use push notifications. Want to give your customers a gentle nudge in the right direction? Use push notifications. It's like a digital tap on the shoulder, a friendly reminder that you're still here and still ready to help. Why it works? Because people are busy and sometimes we all need a gentle reminder about what we were previously very interested in. It also provides a nice promotion boost that allows you to shine the spotlight on your latest offers. In the world of internet customer service, it's important to remember your competitor is only one mouse click away. 88, offer customization options. One size fits all? Not in today's world. So offer customization options and let your customers feel unique. Where personalization is about you and your business catering your message and personalizing it towards your customers, customization is about giving the power to the customer and allowing them to tell you exactly what they want. Why it works? Customization leads to an increase in value. Personalized products equal happy customers. Plus there's the whole brand loyalty thing that comes along from making your customers feel special. Customization is not a bolt on, it's a built in. 89. This next one's pretty cool, especially if your website gets a lot of traffic, and that's to use heat maps. Want to know where your customers are looking and spending extra time on your website? Then use heat maps. It's like x-ray vision, but for your website. Why it works? Heat maps give you the information that shows you exactly where your customers are looking and spending time on your website, so you can optimize the flow and the layout and the presentation. This in turn allows you to put the most important stuff directly where your customers' eyes are focused on and spending most of their time. It also improves user experience by making browsing a breeze and helping customers find exactly what they're looking for in the shortest and most efficient way possible. If you can't measure it, you can't improve it. Number 90, AI-powered customer support. Use AI chatbots to help provide answers to frequently asked questions, booking inquiries, or service details. This approach is similar to using just a standard off the shelf chatbot, but the AI part of it makes it a thousand times more effective by predicting and responding to customers in real time. Why it works? 
24 seven availability, the ability to offer support even outside of regular business hours. Plus the whole added efficiency bonus of being able to handle multiple conversations all at the same time without completely losing your mind. Artificial intelligence is not a man versus machine saga. It's in fact, man with machine synergy. Okay, next up, this one's pretty cool too. And it's to use 3D visualizations for products. 3D visualization takes online shopping to the next level. Instead of flat 2D images, customers can view products in 3D, rotating them, zooming in, and examining them from every angle, much like they would in a physical store. Now I appreciate it. this sounds crazy and super expensive, but companies like Luma AI give you access to this technology for free or very cheap. Why it works? Well, first off, it's very cool, which allows you to stand out and differentiate yourself in what is otherwise probably a pretty crowded market. It also leads to an improved user experience through a richer, more interactive shopping experience. And it can help reduce returns, as with 3D visualization, customers get a more accurate representation of what they're actually buying. Visualization is daydreaming with a purpose. Another way to show off what you've got prior to a customer making a purchase though, is this next idea, which is to offer live demos. Live demos are great if you wanna show off your product's power. Seeing is believing after all, and this is especially true in a live demo situation. Why it works? Live demos build trust and are useful to showcase and highlight features and benefits that may be otherwise hard to describe through text or even video. Tell me and I forget. Teach me and I remember. Involve me and I learn. Next is number 93 and one of my secrets to success, which is to use A-B testing. A-B testing, also known as split testing or multivariate testing, is kind of like the try before you buy of marketing. If you're not sure which strategy is going to work out best, use A-B testing. Run both strategies at the same time and see which one comes out victorious. Why it works? A-B testing allows you to optimize campaigns and know for sure what works and what doesn't. It increases ROI, allows you to create better and more effective marketing, and direct more of your time, money, and attention towards the resources and the activities that are actually delivering the best results for your business. When you are trying to make an important decision and you're sort of divided on the issue, ask yourself, if the customer were here, what would she say? 94, offer self-service options. Customers waiting in line? Help them help themselves with self-service options. It's empowerment, not laziness. Why it works? Efficiency, speed up those processes. Not to mention offering this service leads to an increase in customer satisfaction by empowering customers to choose whichever option is best suited for them. Give them the tools and they will finish the job. 95, use social proof. Want to show potential customers you're legit? Then don't just say it, get other people to say it for you and make sure to share and post and show that they did. That's social proof and it's a powerful psychological force. It's kind of like the business world's version of peer pressure. Why it works? Social proof builds trust because we as humans look to other humans to see what they did in order to decide if we should do it too. So if others love you, they will too. This in turn leads to increased conversions and allows you to turn skeptics into believers. What others say about you and your product, service, or business is at least 1000% more convincing than what you say, even if you are 2000% more eloquent. 96, offer flash sales. This one's not my favorite as discounting is rarely the best option. But if you wanna create a buying frenzy, then throwing a flash sale is retail's version of a sugar rush. Why it works? It drives quick sales. Limited time equals increased urgency. And it can help you clear out stock, out with the old and with the new. In marketing, urgency can be your best friend. 97, another favorite of mine, which is to use storytelling in your marketing. Six of the most powerful words in marketing are, let me tell you a story. When we hear that, we tune in, pay attention and lower our guard. So if you wanna connect on a deeper level, then you need to use storytelling. Why it works, emotional connection. Make them feel, not just think. A good story, or rather a series of stories, can also build a strong brand identity when you share your journey, your values and your mission. Marketing is no longer about the stuff that you make, but about the stories you tell. Next up, pop culture collaborations. One of the easiest things that you can do to get attention fast is to tap into the collective narrative by hopping on a trend or tuning into a fad and showing customers that you understand what's going on around you and that you're hip, you're with it, you get it. Why it works? Well, if there's something already taking place in the world around you that already has a ton of attention and momentum going with it, why not just hop on that and ride the wave all the way to the shore? Also, don't be afraid to do something called newsjacking, which I appreciate is a totally terrifying term, but it's basically just fancy marketer talk for weighing in and sharing your opinion on whatever is taking place in the news right now. Pop culture is a reflection of social change, not a cause of social change. Okay, time for 99, virtual scavenger hunts.
In the digital age, scavenger hunts aren't just for kids in a park. They've evolved into engaging online experiences that can guide participants through a series of challenges and puzzles and clues. These hunts can be hosted on your website, on social media, through different apps, or basically anywhere, which means that all you need is a little bit of creativity and you're off to the races. Why it works? Well, a number of reasons, but engagement is pretty high on the list. In our world of ever shortening attention spans, offering a virtual scavenger hunt can kind of gamify the experience and keep you users interested and engaged for extended periods of time. This means customers aren't just passively consuming content, rather they're actively engaged in a branded user experience. Play is our brain's favorite way of learning. Okay, number 100, introducing a client portal. A client portal is a secure digital doorway into a world tailored to your clients. Here, they can access personalized information, track the progress of projects or services, schedule appointments, and communicate directly with you or your team. Why it works? Well, there's two big things here. First, a client portal provides an enhanced user experience. This is especially useful in today's digital age, where clients expect instant access to their information, and a client portal provides them access with a centralized hub, where they're gonna be able to find everything they need, reducing the back and forth of emails and calls. Next, efficiency. For service-based businesses, efficiency is key, and a portal can automate routine tasks like appointment scheduling and document sharing and billing, which not only saves time for your team, but also ensures clients can manage these tasks at their convenience. Make the customer the hero of your story. Okay, marketing idea number 101, build a community. In today's digital age, businesses aren't just faceless entities. They have a personality and values and stories. Building a community isn't just about gathering a group of customers. Rather, it's about creating a space where these customers can connect, not just with the brand, but with each other as well. It's about fostering a sense of belonging, where customers feel seen and heard and valued. Why it works? Brand loyalty a feedback loop, emotional connections, shared values, a support system, the list goes on. People don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it. All of these ideas are great, but if you wanna know what the best marketing strategies are out of all of them, then you're definitely gonna to wanna to check out the video that I've got linked up right here, where I'm gonna walk you step-by-step step through what I believe are the most effective and profitable marketing strategies that you could and should be using right now. So make sure to tap or click that now, and I'll see you in there in just a second.